yes life hose. You gotta say yes to life. I made a secret kind of it. Okay, it's okay. I Gonna murder another black boy So many unsolved issues on where I come from We coppin' that Henny and then we pour some Tuck up the grippy and then we forefront Right up in that storefront They either blood or loaked up sour or coked up You'll never see on Oprah I just want some meals to get the family straight Cause how I'm going eating why say stomachs ache It don't calculate Ain't nothing sweet for this pound of cake Especially when the Gen-Z's expressions is screaming how they wanna take Too busy watching my surroundings to ever meditate So an ounce of that medical is how I medicate Hold the strings in my brain I'm trying to alleviate I guess the best course of action is to deviate Go. I see lots of liquor, roll one to the face I be all alone cause I need so much space Wish I could disappear without a trace Wish I could disappear 
without a trace Welcome to Something to Compare to. I'm your host, Alexander Blucher. All right. Today we have another one where we're going to be talking about the brain dumping on this channel, the reflection on this channel. We're going to be reflecting, okay? And the why, the why I started this channel. I started this channel because about some years ago, about three years ago, I had some friends from middle school. I should say I played some football with them back in the days. And they was in a tight situation that they asked for some funds. They didn't know each other. So I, I, I hope they didn't just say, hey, we're going to message Alex to ask for some money. I hopefully, hopefully it wasn't that. It was just a coincidence that around the time they did ask for the funds. Right. I already had this boundary in me that if someone asks for less than $50, not you guys, don't ask me for $40. <laughs> Anybody watching this video does not count. Okay. But I have this rule that anyone less than $50, if they're in a real tight situation, I let it out. Um, you know, if you want to pay me back, go ahead. No hard feelings. OK, but I think once it's like $80, $100 or 200, like I want to be like it was going on. OK, so you want to be asking for $200. When are you going to pay me back? OK, next week. OK. Be the man of your word next week because I think somebody's going to be burning bridges if, if it's more than a month that you haven't paid me back. All right. So we're because I'm in in this realm of interdependence, I was thinking that, OK, if they're in a tight situation, that means it's probably something they don't know. They're not organized in their life. Hopefully I could be able to help more than. Twenty dollars, because I think the information of what we do in our day, daily life is more valuable than the dollar amount. You know, I could lend you five dollars, but did did you learn anything, or are you want to keep on asking for five dollars? But if someone was able to take the time to be patient and build the intellectual property of things. Okay, now you're in a position you may not have to borrow. And if you do borrow, probably borrow for like a good read. Oh, is there a good reason? I'm not even sure. But be able to borrow that is like, you know what? I need to borrow $500 because it's for this purpose. And I sh for sure I could pay you back $500 within two weeks because you already know you have things set up. Right. But thankfully, it wasn't that high amount. We, so we're going to keep it small. It was about $20. Um, $20 okay. So one of the things I, I was able to learn is that, uh, OK, you want to borrow $20. No problem. I haven't heard from you in so long. All right. It's been years, but you're taking time to reach out. So even that's not easy to do to ask somebody, hey, can I borrow $20? All right. I was like, look, I'll borrow you this, but because you're not. I'm not looking forward to, for you to pay me back. The next time you ask for ask money for me, I would like to educate you of where I'm at, which was like budgeting, financial budget and things like that. The brother said, yeah, you know, I have to say brother, <laughs> but it's, it's a friend. Right. Oh, what we call a friend associate. Uh, he said, yeah, to the whole, OK, $20. If he asks again, he will be able to go over a budget plan with me. All right. Two friends, right? Different timing. The moment I kind of respond to the whole, I educate you um, how I budget. They were not interested. They disappeared. I found it very interesting. You know, I was speaking to my partner at the time. I'll say it's very interesting that if someone asks me for money, right? And the moment I say, hey, no problem, I give it to you. But there's a there's a chance you may ask me again. It's a chance. I would like to educate you where I'm at. Right? 
that they disappeared on the information. I would think that it would come back like, oh, okay, I see. I see why you have a cushion of $100 or something, right? So the information on both parties, both of the friends disappeared. I was like, is that the world we live in right now where you're asking for something, but when it comes to taking time to learn something, they're, they're just not there, right? So that's why I was like, well, I want to create something called something compared to where I am in season studying. I am in season paying bills. I am in season preparing myself for rainy days. I am in season learning new skills. Um, and I am still able to find time to help others. And it doesn't have to be towards money. It doesn't have to be, hey, you want $200? Okay, there you go, $200. This person spend, spend it at a casino. I'm exaggerating, but spend it on a casino, not knowing that I gave him $200 and he could have, you know, use it towards some books or something just to enhance their situation. So they're not relying on others, right? So that's where something compared to channel came in. That's my reason why. And not just for my own, not only for the two friends that inbox me, but I'm going to take it even more personal. Something to compare to, I have a younger brother, okay, that is bat battling through mental illness. Um, and I always wanted to find a way how to get the information out there without feeling either like I'm the only one or, you know, there's no solution out there. Hopefully that it could be able to start a community of people that are going through the same situation because they heard my story or they heard what worked or what didn't work, whatever. But it's, some, it's something to compare to. This is a comparison. Okay. I'm not the only one. All right. So just a little brief on the mental illness topic with my younger brother, you know, he's in his early thirties, but, um, I think things started transitioning for him when he was 18 or 19. Yeah. I think things started transitioning for him when he was like about 18 or 19. I'm not sure if it was early twenties. Yeah. So it's been a really big downhill battle i can't even say uphill battle it's been a downhill battle that we're still trying to i want to say we my mom my mother she's work she's been there by my brother's side for years trying to pull him away from this whole mental illness situation um i even have pictures that i look forward to sharing with you guys where he's normal I could have a normal conversation. What's your plan this week? Okay, he's busy in the early week. We're going to meet up on Friday. We're going to hang out, things like that. But um, somewhere in the mix, possibly, I never saw him personally do drugs. So I, probably in the mix, drugs may have played a part. Um, the smoking cigarettes or smoking ganja. You know, I've seen that, but to what degree that damaged my younger brother, to what degree um, he know he was going down a path that he was not able to, he wasn't sure how to come back to normal. And I want to be my normal by functioning, by actually trusting his judgments, you know, that's what I mean by normal. I think in a situation of where he's at now uh it's it's as people will say, i will say that he's he's far gone but i'm not giving it giving up on him all right so that's that's the, the the gist of it so um now the brain dumping i, I want to take the the why of this channel and go into brain dumping um i am looking forward to taking this channel not only based on the mental health topic or on a financial topic. Uh, 
but there's some relationship topics out there that's still sp- spiraling around in the melanin community. I'm gonna just call it melanin community for right now. Call it what it is, Alex Black's African American community. It's still spiraling around globally, but I can only share my experience of relationships that hopefully um, something that took me eight years to understand a partner, a relationship, you know, probably could have been narrowed down to two to three years of, okay, things I will tolerate, things I will not tolerate. This is what I want in a partner. So it just be a little bit more meaningful, more intentional, identifying. Um, I'm not sure if I was someone that went through an identity crisis myself in relationships. Like, okay, I'm with someone, but what's the drive here? So um, I'm in my mid-30s now, but my 20s, you know, did I ignore the possibilities of structuring my 20s a little bit stronger with the right person and getting things done do I have to did I have to go through that to you know become the Alexander today in my 30s not sure but I am giving my nephew some heads up like hey don't fall for these mistakes and if I could do that for my nephew I sure could be able to do it for others you know so once again, the mental health conversations, the the budget and financing topics, um, the relationship topics, I think all equal to identity. We're trying to find this identity that fits our lifestyle and be able to proceed forward. So for instance, I am looking forward to having a conversation potentially with, I'm gonna say one right now, one of my ex-girlfriends, all right? We already, she already forgave me, I forgive her. We cool, we, we cordial, we could talk. I don't know if she wants to share, you know, her experience of things or her past relationship of things, you know, how guys were treating her. So it's like, oh, okay, something there to learn. All right. So if there's another sister out there, another woman that out there that's going through a similar situation, how can she be able to identify? OK, look, I'm hearing someone that's years ahead of me and I feel like my relationship is going the same path. And same thing for brothers, the men out there, you know, I'm in a relationship that's sound very similar to what. It's being shared on this channel. How can I be able to identify and make the changes, the amendments, right? Um, on the topic of relationships, I'm not sure if it's a gift. I'm not sure. I'm going to speak briefly on it, all right? But I was able to, two, two to three, I'm going to have to say two right now, two I can remember right now where I spoke life to someone's marriage, like they were on the brink of divorce. I'm speaking life into them of the possibilities of still holding on strong and what are the ways they could be able to um, actually communicate with each other better to hold that marriage strong. Unfortunately, one of the marriages, you know, uh, the woman, she did her part, but the brother was, his mindset was on a whole different level. And they resulted in a divorce. Like there was no way of, um, really working through that. Right. Cause during their separation, they were, or I call it separation during, they were still married, but they were still communicating and seemed like it was, it was okay going their both ways. Hopefully I could elaborate more on that also. So I'm bringing that to the channel, okay? Where something to compare to brain dumping the ideas of, you know, mental health, you know, financial topics, um, 
relationship, marriage topics, uh, that I'm a host. Okay. It may be someone that's just, I may be interviewing and they're speaking on their story. They're being vulnerable in that moment. So, uh, I will do my best to direct the questions or just be able to, uh, direct the show. I should say as a channel, you guys are watching where, um, we could be able to find what went wrong and what's the solution and what's the, really the, 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 the output, the outcome of things. Okay. So yeah. And lastly, lastly, I'm a licensed real estate agent. Okay. In the state of Florida. So been in the business over, well, I started in 2014, got licensed in 20. 16 if i'm not remembering 2016 or 2017 so it's already five years over that i am looking forward to discussing real estate topics also um real estate is a big global market of information so whatever i share i'm not trying to say okay i was the right person it is up to the public to choose what is best for their situation. But I, I do have the credibility to share my knowledge and what could potentially help somebody. Right. So definitely some things coming in the next five years um, from now to the next five years. When I hit that close to that 40, um, 40 year mark, I want to be in a position that something to compare to channel was and a resource of organized information to identify someone's journey. Okay. So hopefully I get a chance to meet you in person, or you could be able to email me that where you are, do you have a credit score on these 600? How can we better, how can we better that credit score? Okay. And that, that's just an example. Okay. So if this channel could be able to provide the information so you could be to identify and help out your situation better, so be it. Okay. Um, so then now on the reflection of the channel, okay, we're going to leave on that, the reflection of the channel. Um, when I first started this channel, my goal was really just to break the ice of conversation less ums uh so the pauses the real long pauses okay let me think about this live on camera you know i'm more freestyling now and talking um so see i'm doing it right now <laughs> this where i started with this channel i did not want to delete my my beginning moments I did not want to, I was ready for criticism. I'm looking forward to more criticism also where the mic was an issue when I first started, where I started with my iPhone eight here on the iPhone eight, the video quality wasn't as good. Sorry. The video quality wasn't as good. Okay. What else? The lighting, you know, Alex, some videos, the room looks dark, right? And I shied away from what I was supposed to talk about today. I shied away talking about mental illness. I shied away from talking about relationships. Um, I shied away from really organizing budgeting. Okay. And I'm looking to really organize that even more that budgeting is more friendly you um what's the word i'm looking for friendly use like the, the mobile user friendly <laughs> that's the word i'm looking forward to more user friendly so that it's not you don't feel um constricted to well why i gotta know my numbers hey if you if you buying fast food out for the month there's a possibility, there's a limit there 
for the month, even though you spend your money freely, there's a behavior in money that I don't think a lot of people are aware of it. Or if they're not, why do they have Amscot? You know, I call I call out the company. I mean, it's it's probably free advertisement for them. But why is there Amscot? You know, take out a loan. I, I have to read up on the loan. If you borrow five hundred dollars, what is the interest rate? What is the the payback plan? Right? Why is there a company called Instant Loans? Right? Um, I have to see their setup. You know, how they got things going on. Why there's uh, check cashing? You know, where someone has to go and um, go to those locations because, you know, the the major banks, Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, they they blocked you out. You lost relationship with them. Right. So if we could be able to identify and going back to identity now, identify what the problem is, how can we get a solution going and just a better outcome? You know, something to compare to. Why not? Some something to compare to channel. That's 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 the diversity I'm going to be offering to the public. OK. As this become an inf informational channel, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, a membership or just a one time fee where you could just get whatever training that you may not. You may not want to listen to every video. You just want to get straight to the point and get the step-by-step -step training going on for you guys, okay? So I will need help from you guys, okay? I found the statement of what I was trying to say, but I need your help to, to who the credit goes to. So leave a comment to who the credit goes to. It's just a friendly debate, because there's I'm not sure who the credit goes to, but the statement goes this, like this that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So I'm adding that to the channel, okay? Yes, there's marketing and strategies, there's Google ads, advertisements of letting people know, hey, this is what I'm doing, come check out my channel. But honestly, I'm at a point now, it's not really so much of a hard convincing. So going back to that statement, the when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. OK, so let me be able to provide the information. I guess I'm considered a teacher um, as uh, the example there and a student. You guys will be able to listen in and be able to identify on what's best for you. I want to add that in the description, there is a survey. OK, I'm going to put survey. I'm going to put the website. So you guys could just leave, go into the survey and just enter in what topics you guys want me to cover. Of course, I will have my agenda of what I want to cover, but I want to be able to see if that's just get a little bit more information on you guys. You could remain anonymous, but on the topic of what you want to cover. Is it mental health? Is it the the the, the financial component of things? Is it the marriage? component of things is it real estate topics um just be able to leave you can leave in the comment if you want or you could be able just to take a survey so I, so when it comes to identifying with ongoing posting of videos i'm hitting the topics that you guys wanted to see okay so that's about my time Thank you. We already covered today the reason why the reflection of the the YouTube channel of something to compare to channel and also the brain dumping of things. All right. The exercising was just for me just to break the ice of getting used to um, hit and record, getting comfortable in front of the camera. OK, so, um, you know, if, if you like the exercise and let me know your thoughts on that, if you want me to continue that I'm still exercising right now, I'm averaging about a good six miles a week on the walk and jog, still doing my, my curls, my pushups, all that stuff. So, you know, I want to hear from you guys. I'm going to leave my email in the description. Also, feel free to e email me right now. Let's get 
let's get something. Let's get some interaction going, okay? So I look forward to it. So thank you. Until next time.